I love to swim. I love to explore one end of this lake to the other, and I find it fascinating when you get a glimpse of what's under the surface, but without a little bit of help, you can't really stay underwater all that long. So today, we're going to explore together whether or not this little thing called the lung tank has the potential to provide the solution I've been searching for for years. Straight ahead. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome into a unique product review because for several years I have been searching for a solution that would allow me to explore under the surface of the water longer than, well, holding my breath would allow. The entire passion for this dates back, I think, all the way to 2016 when my wife and I were on vacation and we saw a couple swim past us wearing a full face snorkel mask. It looked like they were straight out of some science fiction movie and right after that trip we came home and ordered these and I use this mask all the time at my favorite summer getaway because I don't know if you can see it from here but there's a buoy out there about 150 yards and I like to swim laps back and forth back and forth there it's kind of what we do to stay in shape during summer vacation and on occasion we'll swim the entire length of the lake which is a little over a mile and a quarter so this is where it all started but of course, this doesn't have any other technology attached to it except for the ability to breathe through the snorkel at the top. And I began looking for ways that we could supplement, add to the amount of time I could explore under the water because there's lots of fascinating things to see. So it was a few months ago that I began just a Google search and the number one brand that popped up in the portable diving tank category was Lung Tank. So I reached out to them and I should tell you all, they sent all of this to me for demo and review. So I'm trying it all out and I wanna walk you through, first of all, what it looks like when the package arrives. The unboxing's pretty fun because all of the components for this kit, and I do recommend, by the way, that if you decide to take the plunge, see what I did there, with Lung Tank, that you get the full kit and I'll explain why here in a moment. So from the unboxing, let me bring you back to real life and show you all of the components outside of the packaging. Uh, the star of the show is, of course, the lung tank itself. We'll talk more about this in a few moments. There's a lot of technology packed into this little, about the size of the water bottle you use on your long bike rides, but it's a lot more than that. So we'll get to that in a moment. Then all of the kits come with a hand pump because the lung tank can be refilled without you having to take it anywhere. You don't have to pay for a refill. You can do it manually. Literally, the hand pump fastens onto the port on the back of the lung tank like so, and you're ready to pump away. Now, you better be ready to really pump away because to refill the tank by hand is going to take you probably close to a half an hour of five minute increments, 25 to 30 minutes. Then, if you're going to do this right, and you really take the full plunge into the lung tank purchase, you're, you're going to want to go for the turbo charger. This allows you to plug it in either to a regular outlet, to put a battery on the back of it. If you're in a boat, maybe you can attach it to the battery in the boat and have everything automatically recharged for you, refilled for you. It takes about 10 minutes. So, here's the tank. Here are the two options for refilling the tank. This one is going to give you a really good tricep workout. And this one, you just plug in, sit back, watch the gauges, set the limiter. And in about 10 minutes, you'll have it filled to the maximum capacity that they recommend, which is right around 3,000 PSI. But we'll do a test for you here on camera with the two options you have for attaching to the lung tank, because there are some options. The first option is the simplest option. It's putting the mouthpiece in, it actually attaches right into the lung tank. I'll take this adapter out in a moment and it screws directly into the lung tank. So you are, you are really swimming with the whole thing kind of hanging right from your mouth. A little bit heavy, so while you're swimming with that, you'll see you want to hold on to it. But that's one option. And when you do that, you'll wear this face mask. The other option is pretty cool and it's the closest in appearance to the example I showed you at the beginning of our video which is that full face snorkel mask. In that case, the lung tank attaches right here onto the left side. And when you are above water, 
you'll not be using this air, you'll be using the air that comes directly through the snorkel. So, it, you know, it would only be for those moments when you want to go below the surface of the water. The, uh, the guidance is to not go deeper than three meters, right? So between nine and 10 feet. Nothing wrong with that. Just wanted to let you know that this is not your deep sea diving kit. You are not going to become Jacques Cousteau using lung tank. This is for kind of sightseeing and quick dives because you're, you're going to be staying within uh, 10 feet under the water. So here's what I'd like to do. I'm gonna do two swims for you here on camera. I will, the first one will be with the full setup, the sub mask attached to the lung tank. And we'll let you see what it looks like underwater. We'll let you see what it looks like from up above. And we will run a timer so that you can see exactly how much air I get out of this in what we would call a minimal exertion environment. I'm not sprinting. I'm not trying to go uh, super fast. I'm not breathing hard. Um, and as a guy who swims a fair amount, I, th I think I'm okay with normal paced breathing. So we'll take it out, try to get out to the buoy and back and uh, let you see how it goes. And then we will recharge the tank using this and we will come back out and swim with the normal mask and the mouthpiece. So it's time for our review of the lung tank. Let's get in the water. Now, as we plunge underwater, let me describe for you the sensation of using the lung tank because it's really very cool. As you can see, I'm not laboring in the least. I put on some fins to maximize the movement. I'm only I don't know, a foot underwater because you can still see the brightness of the sun coming through. And while it is a little bit awkward to be holding on to the camera so that we can have good video, as you can see, I'm not the world's best camera operator. The swim was really quite smooth and really quite fun. And you're able to get a great look at the under the water stuff that, that you really wanted to be able to see by swimming underwater for extended periods of time. I sped up the middle of this footage, but the clock is moving right along with it so you can see how much time I got out of this initial swim. As we come back into regular speed in real time, I was a little surprised that right about now, the air was just gone. I mean, it went from having a full breath to no breath in the span of about three seconds. Okay, there's part one of our test. I have now taken the lung tank up to recharge using the turbocharger, so that's been done. We're back up to 3,000 PSI right on the number. You can see it on the little gauge. I don't know how well you can read that, but it's, it's right up there. So one of the adjustments that you're able to make within the device, if you think that the air was going too quickly, uh, is you can open up the top lid probably doing this in the water is not the best idea in the world because there are some small components we do not want to lose. We'll take off the top lid, set it on the dock. There's a little rubber membrane in here we're very carefully placing over here and lung tank has kind of cleverly hidden a little Allen wrench inside the lid because right up in here is a little hole where if you go to the right the airflow cuts back a little bit. If you go to the left or counterclockwise, you get more airflow. Because we ran out of air quicker than I was hoping, let me give it just a little tiny tweak to the right. You don't move it much. Little movements make major changes. I've learned that the hard way. So we're gonna test that out. I'll put every piece back together again. Because the next thing we're going to do is utilize the mask with the mouthpiece directly into the lung tank. Tighten that up so we don't have any air or any water getting in there. The changeover is really simple. This adapter, which is part of the sub mask, just screws right out. And your mouthpiece, you want it nice and, nice and snug in there, but that goes right in. And then you just set your angle. So for what I'm going to do, I will have it right about there. Now I will tell you right now that having taken just that one drag on it, it feels like the air is really, really difficult to extract. But we're gonna give it a try and hope that it extends our underwater time just a little bit. So next up, the mask, the mouthpiece, and yours truly, underwater.
So as we go underwater again, this time I sat Indian style. I mean, just literally sat down on the bottom of the lake, about four feet of total water. My head is probably a foot under the water. And with my left hand, I'm actually holding on to a boat anchor so that I don't come floating up to the surface. But as you can see, as we get ready to speed up the clock again, as you can see, there's minimal movement taking place. I'm basically going nowhere and doing nothing. And I am, I'm breathing very, very easily. You know, up on the dock where I took that drag out of the lung tank and it seemed a little hard to get air out of there, it was just fine as I was sitting under the water. So I liked that adjustment. I think we got that calibration about right. By the way, a quick note that as part of the kit from Lung Tank, they include this really effective, really good anti-fogging spray for your mask. And I forgot to apply it here. So as you look at this mask and think, well, man, it's all fogged up on him. That's on me. I forgot to use the spray. And so my visibility wasn't all that great. And it probably looks like it from, uh, from what you're seeing right now. Meanwhile, when I'm underwater, I'm running the stopwatch up from the boat, up from the dock. So I'm not really aware of how long I've been under there. But I knew it was a substantial amount of time remembering that in the lung tank marketing materials, they talk about how you can be underwater for up to 10 minutes. And as you saw with round one of our tests using the sub mask and, uh, and moving around a little bit, I, did, I didn't get very much time at all. So to be down here for what felt like an eternity was really quite encouraging and led me to think that maybe, just maybe, I had made the right adjustments to the air distribution uh, inside the cap of that lung tank and perhaps we had found the magic solution because as you can see right now as we go back into real speed we're up to almost nine minutes and in fact we will get to the nine minute mark so I love that part and it, it filled me with a bit more confidence that the lung tank has the ability or the capacity to get you closer to that 10 minute total time than we saw earlier we were underwater for over nine minutes. So I think that I've got the airflow properly adjusted. So in fairness to lung tank, what I'd like to do is one more test with the sub mask. So we can see if we can extend the time over what we had in the first round of our underwater swim. So just by way of reminder, we'll show you how that change takes place. Mouthpiece couldn't be easier. Thread screw comes right out. Now we come back to the adapter that the mask, the sub mask attaches to. And that will feed right into the side of the tank here. Make sure that's nice and tight, no leaks. And then, you might be able to hear this. It's kind of a clicking lock system. We put this into this port. There, it's clicked right into place. We are charged up to 3,000 PSI for one bonus test of the submask after having recharged everything with the turbocharger, really hoping we get some good underwater time out of this extra test. Let's go. For this second test with the full mask on, we sent the drone up in the air so you can kind of see a, a body moving in the water there from a distance, and that's yours truly. And the experience this second time around with the mask, remembering that we had adjusted the airflow so that we got nine minutes while we were sitting still with the mouthpiece in the lung tank, the experience this time around was exactly the same as it was the first time around. It felt perfectly good uh, for the vast majority of this swim. Right now, I am feeling good, breathing normally, moving around uh, without any inhibitions. I, there's no way, by the way, that you can read that pressure gauge through the face mask, but that's a whole other issue for another matter because reading the gauge isn't nearly as important as actually being able to breathe. And again, with just a few seconds left in what turned out to be a short swim, the oxygen just stops flowing and it's kind of alarming. Now, I wasn't out very deep, so I could stand up when the air ran out, but run out, it did. 
Well, I have to say, I was hoping for a lot more than 2 minutes and 27 seconds of underwater time on that last dive, especially since we were using the same airflow adjustments as we got over 9 minutes with using the mask and the mouthpiece. So as we wrap things up, um, I want to be fair, I want to give you an honest review, and I also want to be fair to the folks at Lung Tank. So let me cover some of the positives and then some of my concerns about all of this. First, the positives. Every component in this kit is really, really well constructed. It has the potential to, to enhance greatly your underwater swim time. But when I talk about just like heft, quality, the attachments and all those things that, you know, you kind of wonder, is that going to be cheap or plastic or break down on me? No, it's not. From the turbocharger to the masks to the connectors to all of the different components, including the hand pump, it is really well put together. The fit of the mask on my face, really solid. The fit of this mask on my face, really solid. And they aren't custom fit, that's just how they prepared them. So kudos to Lung Tank for that aspect of all of it. We do have some concerns. Part of those concerns connect back into the support materials, whether it's in the written manuals or in the YouTube tutorials, they don't really do a very good job of explaining things. There is no way on earth you are going to be able to fully explain the very important intricacies of the airflow adjustments inside this lid. You saw me do this earlier in a 45 second video. It, it does not get the job done and it leaves the end user wanting more information and more guidance so that we do it right. I mentioned to you several minutes ago that I've done probably a dozen different tests with all different settings before starting the video so that I would have some credibility in knowing what I was talking about. Part of the reason for all of those tests was that I had to figure out for myself how to do certain things because the support documentation didn't do the job. So if I'm advising the folks at Lung Tank, I would simply say, add to your library of tutorials because the end user needs that advice. And the only other part that I would say as a word of caution is that if you come into it with expectations of being underwater for nine or 10 minutes, just know that in my experience, the only way that was accomplished is when I was literally sitting perfectly still in three and a half feet of water. I have the feeling you're not acquiring a lung tank kit for the purpose of sitting perfectly still. So just know you're gonna to have to weigh the balance between the amount of time it takes to recharge and get everything set up again versus the amount of time you actually get to enjoy using the product while you're swimming. So having said all that, Thanks for sticking with me through the review, through two tests with the sub mask, one really cool test underwater with the regular mask, recharging several times, and now the decision is yours if you want to take the plunge with Lung Tank. I do not have an affiliate link. They were kind enough to send this to me for a review. That's the best and most honest review I can give you. Mm -hmm.